Hello and welcome to Little Fine Art. Today I'm going to come up with a two kind of part review. So I'm going to do an updated review of my Wacom Cintiq 13 HD and then I'm going to review the um, Wacom Cintiq um, 13 HD Pro. So I had started out with the regular 13 HD and um, I had to ditch it because it took a crap on me like two days before the warranty was up. So I guess it worked out because the tablet I have now is actually pretty much better than the previous one. So what happened was the HDMI cord that connects from the tablet to the computer was very fragile and even if you like barely like touched the cord the screen would go black on your tablet and like it would mess it up and you couldn't use it until it like came back which I hated playing that game with that stupid thing but whatever it took a crap on me but I had a two year warranty so I was able to use the money that I got back from that tablet to get the Pro and um, the Pro is a step up for the most part. It does have its issues, but I mean, technology is always going to have its issues. Um, the main issue that I have with the Pro is the touch screen. It does have a touch screen. Um, it's usually optional and there's a button on there for it. But sometimes it automatically turns on and you can't turn it off. It's pain in the butt. However, there is a way you can bypass that, and that is wearing winter gloves. Not, you know, fun, but you know what? It gets the job done. I will say that. So, I will show you the new tablet. So, it is much thinner comes with a kickstand so you can um, you know have it slanted and it comes with a pen holder on the side and then it comes with another pen holder slash paperweight slash keeps your nibs and you know safe so you just have to open it up and it has two different kinds of nibs a softer one that wears down really easily and then the hard one that comes with it like the other one it has the same kind of nib so pen in general is pretty much the same you know it's pretty cool and then instead of like having a little circle radio button situation this has touch screen buttons so you know the ones that you will most likely use are this one this one uh -huh, there we go and that one so that one adjusts brightness. Um, that's the touch screen option, and that one's your keyboard. Um, this is like maintenance stuff, and this like puts your tablet into sleep. Whoops. Yeah, I got a little too close there. So, like I said before, it is touch screen, and for the most part, I would say 60% of the time it does work the way it's supposed to. But sometimes, and I've noticed it only does it when, let's say your computer goes to sleep and then um, your tablet's still on or you turn your tablet off for temporarily, then that's when the problems start with the touch screen where it doesn't turn off when you want it to. So I mean, to fix it, I usually have to restart my computer but that doesn't take long. It's a little annoying, but I mean, it's way better than the other tablet where even if you like barely touch the cord, it would go black. So I mean, it's still a step up. It is. And for the most part, I do like it way better. But like anything else, everything has its pros and cons. So. Again, I also got a two-year warranty just because the last one didn't last very long. And I figured if that one's not going to last very long, perhaps this one will be the same. 
and it's $900 roughly for each one of them so I'm not going to be put out $900 so I'd rather spend that extra 50 bucks you know to get a new one if it ever crapped out on me each time instead of spending 900 over and over and over again which I definitely recommend doing do not do not forget to get the warranty get the two-year one and know it's expensive but trust me you'll thank me later um so yeah that is my quick little review of those two tablets um I'll probably do another updated review on this one once I've had it for two years just like the other one so the other one this is like two years later and this one I've only had since February so it's not that old so in a year and a half or so I will review it again for like the longevity of it so hope you like this video see you next time bye